Bioshock Infinite, uh, 1999 difficulty guide. So this is Finkton Docks, and we are doing commentary again. Yeah, and I'm here too. Sorry In it's been a while. But. The last video, there was no commentary because we I, Caleb couldn't make it, so I just it's uploaded It's been like a month. I just had to get him <laughs> uploaded for the everyone could see him. So, right here, we took, <laughs> we took an airship to... Or no, we took a ride to get to the airship, but, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of things you haven't seen Yeah, this I game. haven't... I've You're... seen, like, bits and pieces of the gameplay, and I think it's pretty good. I did play, like, the first one and the second one. Have not played this one, so I'm kind of going to be lost. So you're starting off, yeah, you're really lost, because this is about a quarter of the way through. Yeah. But, uh, basically, so you have this girl, Elizabeth, following you around, and she'll throw you money that she finds, she'll throw you ammo when you're in a fight, Oh, she'll she's the health. cat lady that someone was telling me about. And the cat lady? Well, she acts like a cat, like, if you don't pay attention to her, she, like, gets in your face and shit. <laughs> yeah. So, this game... My opinion of this game is, it's not the best game in the world, it's not the greatest, but it's decent at best. It's a decent game. It, it's just, it's it's fair. It's pretty decent. <laughs> it's fun at times, but, I don't know, there's just some some things about the story that's kind of lame. And, all right. Are you playing this for PC, or? Yeah, I recorded this on the PC. Okay. See, like that, she can throw you some money sometimes. Appreciate. But every choice I've made so Ooh, far in this quarter. game, every choice I've made so far in this game is the opposite of whatever choice I made my first playthrough. Okay. So, except for the first choice, and that's one where you get have to throw a basketball at a, a white, at a Negro couple, like a white guy who proposed to a black lady. Yeah. But I chose to throw it at the announcer every time because he's a dickhead. <laughs> Because this game takes place in the 1920s, so, yeah. you know, racism is huge. And, uh, I don't know, I just couldn't throw it at the couple. Plus, they give you an upgrade. Can't pass up an upgrade. Exactly. So, uh, where are you now? Like, well, I guess you're in an elevator. <laughs> right now, we're headed to an airship, because we think that'll take us off. Like, take us down to New York or uh, Paris, wherever she would want to go. She wants to go to Paris, but he has to take her to... His mission is to come up here, this place is called Columbia, and he has to take Elizabeth back to New York to get rid of all his debts that he has because he gambled. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, that's right. I heard a lot of bad things about salts and shit. Like, it was an, it's kind of an annoying... Yeah, so the you're special power-ups that you shoot out of your hand are called Vigors. And the first Vigor you get, Booker has, like, no reaction to these things. He just kind of got the first Vigor, drank it, and then he's like, oh, I guess I got powers now, and he doesn't question <laughs> anything about it. He's like, oh, well, I, I don't really care how this works at all. I guess I'm going to use this whenever I want. <laughs> Seems legit. And he doesn't really question anything about it. Yeah, see... He has to take her to New York, but uh, she he said he was going to take her to Paris. She was stuck in a tower all the time. She got locked away in a tower, and that's where we kind of saved her from. Oh, great. Now we're saving Sleeping Beauty here. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> bitch is crying. Smack her up. Oh, wait for it. Everything's going to be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me, and we can Yes. You just got fucking smashed. <laughs> and that was pretty much the only gameplay for that tiny little section. The rest is a cinematic, so we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Yep, thank you. Comments.
Shed did the trick. This one's away. So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship.